Yo guys, what's going on? It's Zorp here bringing you guys another SDK video for Hammer and how to make maps. Um, today we're going to be doing something that's more KZ oriented. Um, last time was a trigger video which just showed the landmark angles, which is pretty simple. But today it's a little bit more complex, but it's still pretty easy. And I've had numerous people ask me about this and um, it was pretty requested uh, as I posted a thread about it on KZ Climb. So a lot of people wanted to understand how to do this and it's actually very, very easy. Um, so basically the first thing that you want to do is come to GameBanana.com and then from here go to games and then go down to CS Source. And you can do CS Source because CS Source and also CSGO use the same engine. So, um, so you can uh, use prefabs and textures and stuff from Source if you didn't know that. You can't use them from 1.6 though. So when you're on this page, when you're on the Source page, come down to prefabs and then scroll all the way down and go to page number two. And then scroll down a little bit, and then it's not this one, even though it looks similar. It's the one that says Simple One B Hop System. And credit goes out to um, Tony Montoya, or Montana, I don't know why I said Montoya, meant Montana um, for making this. This is actually really helpful, and it's very, very easy to use. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be able to show you guys like the video version or how to do it in Hammer, but if you guys also get confused, this is how to do it as well. Just follow this this is how I figured out how to do it it's pretty easy so basically what we're gonna do is just download this so manual download download and then it's gonna give you a zip file I've already downloaded it before that's why there's the one next to it so then you're gonna open this up in the zip thing zip, what am I saying zip thing um, <laughs> in your zip file and then you're gonna want to go to the one that says VMF VMF is like a hammer file so the BSP is like the map so if you wanted to play this on CSGO, if you wanted to play the map on CSGO, then you would use the BSP file. You'd put that in your maps on CSGO, and then you could load up the map. But we want to go with the VMF file because we want to open the file on Hammer. So what you want to do is extract this to your desktop. Once you've done that, I'm going to replace it. And then once you do that, you can click that out of there. So then once you ha see it on your desktop... Where is it? Uh... One here, one VHOP. There it is. Okay. So now what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our map. So once we have our map, this is what I did before. I made this in about like two minutes. I just made some blocks to put the single hop on. Blah blah blah. And we'll turn this into a light really quick so that the map can compile. All right. Okay. So once you have your map loaded, the one that you want to put the single hop on. Once you do that, go to File, Open desktop and then you want to find the one bhop entity and then what you want to do is open that and this is the pre the prefab that Tony uh, Montana has for you and so basically what these are right here this these two little or three little things he's just showing examples um, on how to use it so you don't really want to do anything over here these are just examples what you want to do is click on this click on this skybox what the skybox is, it's, it, uh, it selects everything in here. You're not going to touch anything in here. You're just going to copy and paste this. This is You don't need to do anything with this. So you want to just click on the skybox because it will select everything inside of it. Then you, what you're going to want to do is hit control on your keyboard. Click again and click these three as well. These three triggers. When you hit control on your keyboard, make sure you hold down the whole time and click on these three so it selects everything. Then what you want to do is hit control C on your keyboard to copy and then you can click off this and hit close and then what you want to do is come out here and hit control V and paste it inside you can move it outside like that and see there we go now we have it in our map <clears throat> so with the skybox you can just put this anywhere I'm just gonna put it next to uh, I'm just gonna put it next over here next to the map that I have or a little cube whatever you want to call it so in here is a bunch of different things. It's a bunch of filters and it's basically how the one B hop system works. You don't want to touch this at all. There's no point to touch it really. So the next thing you want to do is come over here. So this is the reset trigger. You're going to put this um, basically right at the beginning of your B hop so that it resets everything. You put this at the beginning just before the B hop. Um, I'm just going to go like this. Gotta move it up a little bit. Okay, now once it's up, there we go. Move it 
little bit forward. That's pretty good. You just want to make it so that the player, when they spawn, <clears throat> or if they say they fall into the trigger down here, which we'll make right now. Sorry, by the way, I'm actually sick right now. So if I like sniffle or something like that, I do apologize. So we'll turn this into a trigger texture. And then we'll hit control T on our keyboard to make that a trigger underscore teleport. All right. And, and for the name, we'll just put it as, actually no, we don't need to name that. All right. <clears throat> so this guy's just gonna be, I'm just gonna name him B1 for B hop one. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. You're gonna wanna have different names for every single section, obviously, but, um. Okay, so then we're gonna go, oh, I don't want this to leak, so I need to move this up a little bit. Move it up, all right. All right, cool. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and get this guy. Basically what you wanna do with this guy is uh, you wanna leave everything the same. Do not change the name of it. If you change the name right here, it will screw everything up because those are linked to the filters that are in the skybox over there. So what you want to do is just only change the remote destination. So what you want to do is change that to what the trigger, or not the trigger, the um, teleport destination that you have right here. Right here. You want to put that as this name right here. So once you have that, you're going to move it so it covers every block that you want to be single hop on your whole entire section. So we're going to move this up. Um, I'm tripping. Oh my god. Okay. Gonna move this up right here. That seems about good. Uh, okay, that covers it all so far. Let's move it like that. And then just make sure that it covers all the blocks until the end. I'll just go till there. So right here, see how it's covering every single block? That's what you're gonna do with the, uh, right here, it says bhop underscore teleport. That's what you want to have covering every single block that you want to have single hop on. And then this one is the reset trigger, which is you put right where your teleport destination is. Once that is all complete, there's one trigger left and it's this little square one. And uh, this is the one that you're gonna put on every single bhop block. So then once you move that over here, just make sure that it's on every single block move this up a little bit okay and uh, you don't need to change anything right here just leave it all the same it's fine just leave it the same settings and then uh, you can just basically all you have to do is uh, what I did is I have different heights and different sizes on the blocks just to show different variations so you just to show that you can basically do it on any size of a block um got to make this smaller all right there we go so basically once you're done putting these on every single one uh we should be good to go and then i'll show you um <clears throat> an example of uh what we created on my kz server and we'll be good Okay, now that we're on my server, now we're going to switch the map to the map that I created for the tutorial. And I'm going to show you guys that the single hop does indeed work. So basically, we're on the map that I created. And uh, if I try to jump on this block twice, it's going to teleport me back. So let's show that. Can't jump on it twice. But if I keep going... It does let me hop once on every block so let's show that again basically if I go like this and I'm like uh oh I need more speed I can't jump on it twice so that's basically the tutorial um, very simple all you need is those three triggers um, and then the uh, the skybox and all you have to do for the skybox is just select it once and then you're fine um, it's pretty easy and uh, I hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial leaving a like kind of helps a ton the next tutorial I'll probably make is how to do a start and end timer. Uh, I know a lot of people requested that one as well. Hope you guys enjoy everything, and I'm out. Peace.